Hi guys, my name's Nicole and in today's video I'm going to show you a quick and easy recipe for making a Victoria sponge cake. So making cakes is a great way of just letting loose and forgetting about your uni work for a little bit. Baking can literally take you from an hour to a whole day, depending on how much time you just want to relax for. And it's a great way for interacting with flatmates and everyone else as well. For example, you can go into the communal lounge and just have a whole two hours with everyone you're sharing an apartment with, making a cake and having a laugh. So here's a quick and easy recipe for you to make for your friends or family or just on your own. So to start off with, we need to preheat the oven to about 180 degrees Celsius. The ingredients to start off with, you will need self-raising flour, caster sugar, butter and two eggs. And then for the filling, you will need double cream and jam. And then for that extra touch on the top, you can add some icing sugar. So to start off with, you'll need to grab your scales and your caster sugar. And you'll need to measure out 100 grams. Once you've done this, chuck it into your mixing bowl. Now it's time to measure out the butter. You'll also need 100 grams of this. And once you've measured all that out, pour it into the bowl that has the sugar in. Now you've got the butter and the sugar in a bowl, make sure you mix it all in together so that there's no lumps. Once that's all mixed in, grab your two eggs and crack them into the mix. Make sure they're all whisked in nicely and it's a smooth mixture. Once that's all mixed in, now you need to measure out the self-raising flour. You'll also need 100 grams of self-raising flour. Once that's all measured out, add that into your mixing bowl. Once it's all in the bowl, make sure you fold the flour in gently so that it doesn't go everywhere and there's no lumps of flour. Once you've got a nice smooth mixture, grab two baking trays and grease them with some butter. Once you've done this, grab the mixture and equally distribute it between the two pans. Once all the mixture is in the pans, spread it out evenly so it covers the bottom of the tin. Don't worry if it's not even, because when it goes in the oven, the heat will spread it out. Once you've done this, it's time to put them in the oven. You'll need to place both trays into the middle shelf of the oven and leave it to bake for 20 minutes. Now, whilst that's cooking, you will need to grab your double cream. As you can see, the double cream is quite runny. So, pour about 200 millilitres into a bowl. And what you need to do is whisk it together. Now, this will take a bit of elbow grease, but you'll get there in the end. And you can cheat and use a mixing bowl as it makes it a lot quicker. This is the density you need to have. Now, grab a cooling rack and once the sponge is cooked, you'll need to leave it to cool for 20 minutes before doing the filling. Grab your cream and place it on one of the sponges. Don't go too overboard, but be generous as you want to have it nice and creamy. Once you've spread the cream on one sponge, you need, now need to grab the jam and put it on the other one. Again, make sure it's all evenly spread, as you want it to be as tasty as possible. Both of these sponges are spread, place one on top of the other, like so. Now for the finishing touches, add a bit of icing sugar. Grab your sieve and gently sieve it through. Now, as you can see, my sponge has a little crack on it, which makes it a bit unique. But you can also decorate it in many different ways you want. For example, add some strawberries. So get creative and enjoy.